Games are unfortunately being postponed left, right, and center. It is absolute chaos at the moment in the A-League men's competition, but there are still a couple games going ahead this weekend, so let's talk about them right now. The games being postponed this weekend include Mariners against MacArthur FC, Jets against Melbourne City, Sydney taking on Perth, and Melbourne victory against Brisbane Raw. But on Saturday night, Western City Wanderers return to Parramatta to take on Western United, which should be a really fascinating game. The history between these two sides is quite balanced. Two wins for each side and one draw, with the last match ending in a 5-0 win to the Western City Wanderers at home. And both teams will be looking for the win in this game for different reasons. Western Sydney Wanderers have been struggling on and off the pitch. There's issues happening behind the scenes that we've heard about as well. They've lost three of their last games across all competitions and this is the perfect chance for them to win finally back at Combank Stadium after a few weeks away. But for Western United, they had their winning streak ended last week by Melbourne victory in a very gritty 3-1 loss. A key battle in this game to keep an eye out for is Adama Traore at left back for Wanderers against Lockie Wales on the right wing for Western United. Wales has been one of the most dangerous attacking threats for Western United so far this season and is playing with a lot of confidence at the moment, linking up with the likes of Dylan Pereus, Connor Payne, Dylan Wenzel Halls. But he'll be coming up against Adama Traore, who for me has been one of the best left backs in the competition so far this year. With West United having their winning streak halted last week and the Wanderers in desperate need for a win in front of their home fans, I'm actually going to back Western Sydney for the win here. I'm going to say it's a close one though. I'm going to go 2-1 to Western Sydney Wanderers. The other game going ahead this weekend is Adelaide United taking on Wellington Phoenix. Two sides as well, desperate for a win. When you analyze the previous meetings between these two sides, Wellington Phoenix are actually undefeated in the last four meetings. And an interesting question that will be answered in this game is who starts up front for Adelaide United? One of the problems for them so far this season has been scoring goals and finding that consistent goal scorer. It was Toure who started in their last game against Western United. Is it George Blackwood who comes in for his first start of the season? Only time will tell. And personally, I'd love to see a young player like Bernardo Oliveira shifted into the side as well, just to bring something different to that attacking line. But the key battle for me is going to be simply the Reds' attack up against the young keeper Paulson. Of course, Ollie Sale, Wellington Phoenix's usual number one, ruled out for a number of weeks with injury. Young keeper Alex Paulson has been shifted into the side. Made a couple decent saves when he came on against Sydney FC a couple weeks ago. But it's going to be interesting to see whether this Reds' attack can finally get clicking and maybe catch out the young, inexperienced keeper. My prediction for this game, I think it's a similar situation to the Wanderers' Western game. Adelaide United at home, usually so strong at home, in front of their home fans and desperate for a win. They still don't have a win so far this season. After five games, I reckon they will get the victory here. I'm going to say 1-0 to the Reds. Hopefully, we do see more A-League men's games go ahead in the coming weekends. But make sure you join me on Saturday night, this Saturday from 7.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. I'll be doing a watch-along live here on YouTube for Western United against Western Sydney Wanderers. Until then, Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in the next one.